Hi friends, I am starting an experiment to grow tomatoes in Aero Garden Bounty Elite. This variety is called 42 day tomato. I have grown the same variety in Aero Garden Harvest and I was able to harvest the tomatoes from day 80. Let's see how this will turn out in Bounty Elite. Bounty Elite is much more powerful system compared to Harvest. It has 50 voltage lights compared to 20 voltage lights in harvest model. Let's see if 50 voltage lights makes any difference over 20 voltage lights. I am placing two seeds in each pod and starting with four pods. My goal is to grow only two plants in this garden. Depending on the germination, I will thin out the seedlings, move the pods and eventually keep only two plants in this garden. Alright, the garden is ready. As always, I will add water but I will not add nutrition right away. I will start adding nutrition once I see the seedlings. This garden is all set and good to go. It's day 6. I see pretty good germination. I see seedlings in all pods. I see two seedlings in each pod. The seedlings in this pod are coming little slow but I see two seedlings here. Now that I see the seedlings I will start adding nutrition. I will use Aerogarden nutrition throughout this growth cycle and I will use it as recommended which is 12 ml at every feeding cycle. Once the plants are established well and started producing flowers and fruits I may bump up the nutrition. I will discuss it as the plants make progress. It's day 11 and it's time to thin out the seedlings and keep only one plant per pod. If you wonder about the tin foil I added here, I just want to block the light as much as possible. So I cover the holes with this tin foil. It's day 20. The seedlings are coming excellent. In fact, they are plants now. They are about 4 inches tall. It is time to transfer two of these plants to Aerogood and Bounty Basic and leave the room for two plants here. Alright, I moved two plants to another Aerogood. Now, the entire Bounty Elite is dedicated to two plants. It's day 29. The plants are looking great and they started flower birds. This is really awesome and I see the flower buds on both plants. It's day 42. The plants are looking great and I see bunch of tomatoes. This is really amazing. These plants are always looking amazing with lots of flowers. They are always loaded with flowers. Now they are loaded with tomatoes. This is really amazing. This plant looks weak from day one, but it is still producing lots of flowers and a couple of baby tomatoes. So this is awesome. Day 45. The tomatoes have been growing so nice, but I see they are getting rot. I see this issue on many tomatoes. This is called blossom and rot and it is caused by a shortage of calcium in enlarging fruits. I have grown so many varieties of cherry tomatoes so far and I never had to use any calcium supplements. Aerogarden Nutrition already has some calcium and that is well enough. However, the bigger tomatoes need more calcium and Aerogarden Nutrition is not giving enough calcium. So I will start adding some calcium supplements from now on. Let me also call out when and how much calcium I will add. I will add 5 ml of calcium every 14 days and I will add it 7 days after the regular feeding cycle for aerogarden nutrition. Since the aerogarden nutrition already has some calcium, I don't want to add both aerogarden nutrition and calcium supplement together and increase the calcium levels too much. So, adding the supplements right in between the regular feeding cycles will balance the calcium level. This is what I do with all the bigger size tomatoes and this is working very well. It's day 50. 
the rotten tomatoes started falling off there are lots of tomatoes that are rot oops they are falling off anyways there is no point keeping these rotten tomatoes on the plant so i thought of removing anyways but all the new tomatoes are doing fine so adding calmag seems to be helping all right i removed all the rotten tomatoes this experiment has been growing excellent so far but everything turned south within a week i should have monitored these tomatoes closely and i should have acted fast but anyway the damage has happened i can't do anything but now onwards i'm going to actively add calmag it's day 64 the plants are doing excellent they are loaded with the tomatoes look at all these tomatoes they are pretty big much bigger than the cherry tomatoes just for the comparison i have a cherry tomatoes right next to this 42 day tomato look at this how different they are in size they are double the size of cherry tomato in fact some of them are probably three times bigger than the standard cherry tomato this is really good and i see a few tomatoes started ripening that is another good news day 71 a couple of tomatoes have ripened very well and they started falling off these are the healthy tomatoes no rotting issue on these tomatoes this one has a little bit of rotting issue but that is on the extreme edge so i can consume this and i see lots of tomatoes started ripening on both plants this is nice one huge problem i am noticing with this variety of tomatoes is the powdery mildew lots of leaves are getting infected with powdery mildew and it is terribly bad i am really hating this issue but if i keep this powdery mildew issue aside I am pretty happy with the tomatoes. The growth of these tomatoes is really good. They are pretty nice, pretty decent in size. And they are ripening very well. Look at the size of these tomatoes. They are 3 to 4 times bigger than cherry tomatoes. This is really nice. The size of the tomatoes is one of the reasons I want to choose this variety over cherry tomatoes. It's not that cherry tomatoes are bad. I am just bored of growing cherry tomatoes for many years. And when I look outside cherry tomatoes, this is one of the best varieties I can grow. The plants are not that tall. Most part of these plants is under the lights and they are growing very well. Producing lots of tomatoes and they are ripening pretty fast too. Getting the ripening tomatoes in just 71 days is really nice thing. Day 76, lots of tomatoes have ripened. I see that the tomatoes are still falling off. These are healthy tomatoes. I don't see any issues with these tomatoes, but still they are falling off. Anyways, I am not too concerned. These tomatoes have already started ripening, so they will continue to ripe even off the vine. There are many tomatoes that are still on the vine and ripening very well. Look at this well ripened tomato. This is so bright and glossy. A few tomatoes are still green but they started turning into light green. So this is all going very well so far. Day 80. Lots of tomatoes have ripened very well and are ready to harvest. Few tomatoes are still falling off. Some of them are partially ripened. However, they will continue the ripening process. So no worries here. Now the plants have a very few green tomatoes, but they are also getting into ripening process. Now I will harvest all these ripened tomatoes and just for fun, I will measure the weight. Here it is. I got 1.12 LBs. Not bad. I removed a couple of spoiled tomatoes. I lost so many tomatoes because of rotting issues in the past. Otherwise, the yield would have been excellent. By the way, just for some size comparison, I am keeping 42 day tomatoes next to my tiny tim cherry tomatoes. 
look at the size difference how big this 42 day tomato is compared to cherry tomato these are really nice in size it's day 87 all the tomatoes have ripened now i'm going to harvest all these tomatoes and trim the branches most of these branches doesn't have any growth so i'm going to trim all these branches i see the plant has a lot of new development and it is producing lots of flower birds and i also see a few baby tomatoes so this plant is up for second crop harvesting all these tomatoes as quickly as possible will help the plant show more development and show more flower birds i think this journey is going to be continued for a few more months as i am seeing a lot of flower birds and the plant is setting up for second crop i'm sure this is going to go a couple of months so i'm going to pause this video here and make a follow-up video whenever i have more progress on these plants that is all for now thanks for watching and happy aero gardening